when you make a hydrogel, like a jelly, and copulate it with the cells, what's interesting is the cells will contract the jelly. So eventually the jelly will just uh, have a tendency to contract. So if you contract the jelly surrounding a robot, say, uh, our case, a robot finger, it will automatically fit with the surface of the robotic finger. Once you took it out, it's like a sweaty hand. <laughs> it starts to dry up a little bit. Then it looks, uh, looks really, really uh, realistic. So once it dries, it gets the wrinkles, small, very, very detailed wrinkles. And once you fold it, you can see that here, the, the sort of so-called uh, folds or something you could see. Our next step would be something we would like to cover the faces. Like a robotic faces, because if you think about human, right? It interacts with human. So the human perceives the robot first as to how it looks like your face. So if you can uh, replicate the detail of the face of a human being, that would be a good way to uh, boost the interaction with human. In the end, it doesn't even splatter. In the end, it doesn't even splatter. What's going on, baby boys, baby girls, ladies and gents, welcome back. Glad you made it. It's another so-so production. It's Friday, June the 10th, 2022. No big deal. Doing it in-house sesh. Sip, sip to everybody out there. And what you know about that President's Choice mango lemonade, baby? What's a mango lemonade? Hmm. I'll tell you what, it's a delicious beverage that'll keep you hydrated. Comprised of mango, obvious, lemonade, obvi, add a little bit of ice. Ooh, refreshing. Another sip, sip to the gang. Mmm. Man, I should probably, it's virgin, I'm not gonna lie. A little shot of vodka in that bad boy? Mmm. Would have been nice, but hey, another day, another time. Hope everybody's safe and sound wherever you are in and around this beautiful planet, aka the blue marble floating in the middle of the sky. <laughs> no big deal. Thanks to some say a little thing called gravity. The gravitational pull. The gravitational push. The pull and push factor. The push and pull factor. All the good good. In the end, it doesn't even splatter. What are we talking about today? I want to talk about one thing and one thing only today, fam. It's going to be, let's get right into it. Tired of dry robots? Tired of dry bot skin? Tired of bot that doesn't, doesn't know how to sweat, doesn't know how to, oh, doesn't know how to shed a tear? What's her name? I think it's Sophia, one of them AI robots or just, you know, half AI, one of them robots that, the one that talks back, the one that doesn't you know, the one that's got a mouth on her. What that mouth do, Sophia? Side talking, and giving really good answers to questions that are on man and the woman kind's mind. Feel me? But tired of that, oh, it's disgusting. They can't even sweat. They can't even get tired of that dry robot. So no longer will you have to put up with that shit because it's over. It's done. We nipped it in the butt because we looked at them robots. We're like, Sophia, why can't you sweat? You look awful real, but why don't I see you shedding a tear? Why don't I see you shedding a couple of uh, sweat drops from your uh, uh, armpits, from your forehead? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we don't need to wait no more. The future is here. The future is now. Right now. Now. I'm going to read you an article and we're going to get right into it. This thing is fascinating. It's interesting on so many different levels. We're, oh my God, there's a bug right by, oh shit. Oh man. Oh, I'm gonna have to, oh. Boys and girls, hold on a sec. Hold on one second. Dun, 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 Look at this. Look at this. You guys see this? We weren't expecting a guest today, but that's what it, oh my God, it's disgusting. Look at it, fam. Look at this, what we do, baby. This is nature. Oh my God, his leg got stuck underneath the glass. Look at this. Look at this, fam. No other podcast will, look what we do around here for the sake of entertainment. How's the feel to be inside the glass? Oh, you thought you're just gonna get inside the 
pod sesh and interrupt our pod seshes? I'm tired of these insects. Get a good look. Bear with me a few seconds while I'm setting him or her free. That's what we do around here. You're lucky. You're lucky the cameras are on. Bear with me a few seconds, fam. Dun, 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 dun. about that oh things get wild around here oh almost kill an animal this close mm -hmm. but it's okay we took care of that just crawling right on the old curtain there where were we fan tired of dry butts that's where we were no longer do you have to wait because we're going to be taking things to the next level. We're potentially, if we're going to, if we're going to be, if we're going to be getting cocked, if we're going to be cocked by a bunch of robots, might as well have some robots that are going to be sweating. At least we know if we're going to go down battle, I'm talking about a battle, man, women, humans versus bots. You don't want to go against a dry bot, do you want that bot to at least sweat for it, work for it. If we're going to be going out, we're creating our own replacements if we're going full voyeurism into that oh we're tired of doing humans we want to see other things do humans better than us so that's why we took it to the next level i'm going to read you this article and maybe i'll put in a little video too maybe before the video starts maybe after the video's finished get a little snippet of what i'm talking about but this is in the guardian i'm going to read this article for you guys and we're going to break it down so again, in the Guardian, articles titled, Scientists Make Slightly Sweaty Robot Finger with Living Skin. Yeah, with living skin. Japanese innovation thought to have potentially built a new relationship between humans and robots. Sweet. All right, let's get into it. Japanese scientists have developed a slightly sweaty robotic finger covered in living skin in an advance that they say brings truly human-like robots a step closer. A finger, which was shown to be able to heal itself, is seen as an impressive technical feat that blurs the line between living flesh and machine. Bueno. But scientists were divided on whether people were warm up to its lifelike anatomy or find it creepy. Yeah. We're surprised by how well the skin tissue conforms to the robot surface, said Shoji. Takuchi, a professor at the University of Tokyo who led the work. But this work is just the first step towards creating robots covered with living skin. Just the first step, no big deal. The team argued that more lifelike humanoids will be able to interact with people more naturally in a range of roles, including in nursing, care, and the service industry, fam. A wink, wink, the ser you know what kind of service? Because you want that butt to be wet in the services. But you, yeah, I think... Living skin is the ultimate solution to give robots the look and touch of living creatures since it is exactly the same material that covers animal bodies, Takuchi said. He added that such advances had the potential to build a new relationship between humans and robots. Fantastic. Scientists have previously produced skin grafts, sheets of skin that can be stitched together in the reconstructive surgery, for instance, but have struggled to create living skin on a three-dimensional dynamic object. In the latest work, the team first submerged a robotic finger in a cylinder filled with a solution of collagen and human dermal fibroblasts, the two main components that make up the skin's connective tissues. These coated, these coated the surface like a paint primer, providing a seamless layer for the next coat of cells. Human epidel, epidermal... I don't know how to pronounce this word. Keratinocytes. To stick to. Bending the finger back and forth caused natural looking wrinkles to develop on the knuckles and when wounded, the crafted skin could self-heal like humans. 
with the help of collagen, bandage, and according to the scientists, feels like normal skin. Great. The finger is a work in progress. Its skin is much weaker than natural skin and has to be kept moist. Keyword moist. As without a circulatory system to the cells would die if they dried out. Its movements are also distinctly mechanical. The finger looks slightly sweaty straight out of the culture medium, said Takuchi. Since the finger is driven by an electric motor, it is also interesting to hear that the clicking sounds of the motor are in harmony with the finger that looks just like a real one. However, experts say that this is a combination of a very lifelike and mechanical this combination of very lifelike and mechanical that can trigger a sense of revulsion known as the uncanny valley effect. Dr. Burka Ergen of Bilkent University in Ankara, Turkey said it is possible that the human-like appearance of some robots induces certain expectations, but when they do not meet those expectations, they are found eerie or creepy. Professor Fabian Gravenhurst, a neuroscientist at the University of Oxford who also studies the so-called uncanny valley effect, said it seems like a fantastic technological innovation. He agreed that people might have an initial negative reaction to the mixture of human and robot features, but said research shows this response could shift depending on interactions with a robot. Initially, people might find it weird, but through positive experiences, hence the service industry, wink wink, that might help people overcome these feelings. The team now plans to incorporate more sophisticated functional structures within the skin, such as sensory neurons, hair follicles, nails, and sweat glands. They're also working on a skin-covered robotic face. Sophia, the advance is described in the journal Matter. So again, the name of the article, you can read it on The Guardian if you like, but I just read it for, you know, point scientists make slightly sweaty robotic finger with living skin. And I'll probably make a little video depicting or not make it. It's already up there. I'll just put it in there. Fam, what do you guys think? Tired, again, you're probably tired of dry, Sophia. You're tired of, you know, the robots in the service industry or the, the care industry are not moist. Personally, me too. Nothing I hate more than a dry robot. I try to interact with them. I was like, oh, I can't get a vibe on this fellow or lady. Get some moisture in there. Oh, where do we begin? Where do we end? Where, where do we start? Where do they start? You know, it's fascinating. There's so much more interesting news about so many things coming out. But this, I wanted to specifically discuss this because we're, that, we're in that transition period, baby. We are, like I said in the beginning of the video, I think we're essentially cucking ourselves. Because at one point, there's going to be, you know, and I'm not the first, I'm not, I'm not a scientist, I'm not an expert, but I put my ear to the ground and I hear things. Like people walking, the train underneath us. You know, somebody taking a jackhammer right into the concrete and uh, right going at it. I hear everything. Some most things, some th some things, you know, other, other things I can't hear everything, but you know what I mean. I get a good hearing on me. These still ears uh, be working. Point is that I feel like many other people that we're that you know we're gonna be yeah soon. It's gonna be it's no longer just gonna be you and me. It's no longer just gonna be it's gonna be us with the bots, and we're getting ever so. We're becoming more reliant on these bad boys. There's a lot of arguments to be made for and against it. I particularly don't have any, you know, I don't have any uh, dogs in the race. I don't have any horses in the race. I don't have any rabbits in the race. I don't have any, you know, or, or maybe I do, but probably not. But overall, I think we're all going to be working together, obviously, to make the best decision. But what is the best decision? You know, back in the day, some argued that, you know, you should just, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do we, do we leave certain things be carried out by nature? What do I mean by that? Let's say, you know, if, if you have some sort of a disease or a ailment or, a, you know, obviously you should seek medicine. You should get the help. But at, at one point, you know, but at the same time, is that again, is that, I'm just asking questions, I don't, I don't know. Is that pushing ableism so that more people have to fit into a, you know, a, we're trying to make the perfect human. We're trying to perfect ourselves. We're trying to create these things that are even better than us. 
So it becomes this notion of ever an ongoing pro process of, I guess, uh, progress, evolution, combination of everything. Does that make any sense? So here's the thing. Do we, you know, is, you know, in a sense, it is good. In a sense, it's good because, you know, if you need something replaced, a body part easily could be whether it's through robotics, whether it's the limbs, you know, people get artificial limbs all the time. You can get an artificial eye, you can get artificial limbs, ligaments, bones, you name it. And it's getting better and better. But at the same rate, I think the tech is developing a little bit faster than we have time to react to the way we should monitor it, or at least, uh, I don't know, just watch over it. Cause like next thing you know, it's a slippery slope and it happens way too quick. You know, it's uh, one of those things where it's like, oh, this skin is much better than my own skin. This, this robot arms way better than my own regular arm. And man, is it, you know, at, at the end of the day, if it's gonna be, if we move towards, I guess it's little by little right now, right? But but at the end, uh, I'm guessing towards the end, like way down the line, it's gonna be just, can you take the brain, put it in some sort of a machine or a device or a robot or a computer and just, you know, just be wheeled on a, you know, you're, you're, you don't even need to be wheeled off to anywhere. You're in a, you're in a virtual space or like the, you're, you're in the interwebs. You're, you're electronic living forever. You know, there is a sense of immortality in that. Do we, but that's the thing again, there's so many things that I'm just trying to, you know, it's exciting because you know, if, uh, yeah, God forbid anything happens to you right now in these days, most cases there's great access to medicine, which you can uh, hopefully get. But that's, again, that's one of the questions that comes into play because once you start, we've already done it. Once we've provided these options out there, you know, does it become, does it further the gap between human classes or levels, if that makes any sense, you know what I mean? Because like these things are definitely available, but as it begins to come out, as it starts to come out, it's only accessible to the wealthy, the super rich, the, you know, you know, the elite members of society, whatever that means, you know, people with ample amounts of resources, access to resources, let's just put it that way. And regular folks might not have that first dip, like, and then you have the people who are not even, you know, what about the people who are like way out there in the fringes of society? Just, you've seen them. All you gotta do is uh, take a walk downtown what happens to those people? Cause they're not gonna, they're that fellow, that lady's, you know, she or he's not gonna be the one that gets access to that nice, shiny, sweaty, uh, synthetic skin. You know what I mean? Uh, they fall down, they scrape their knee. That's, that thing's gonna have to bleed. That thing's gonna have to get infected. That thing's gonna have to, you know, it's gonna be an open wound for some time. Let's face it, man. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit, you know, again, excited in terms of, man, it's great developments that we're making. You and I, basically, you and I, like, that's more more you than I, you know, I'm not, you know, but I support it in a way, I guess, because, like, science, uh, you know? But I'm also a little bit, yeah, I'm, I'm just like, man, we are definitely changing, and it doesn't feel like we're going to be the same species as we are now for too long or maybe that's a misconception maybe that's uh maybe that's just in my head i don't know but in a few i'm assuming in a few hundred years we're gonna be you know at least half bots dude at least half bots you know what i'm saying it's fascinating stuff but that's what it is man you get that well, what's it good for? Let's if it's just on the robot. Let's get let's get it going, baby. Because yeah, are you tired of that? Yeah, you're tired of that dry Sophia. Now you can now you can dip her in the water. Feel me? Now you can dip her in the water. Cause she's got that skin. Now you can go swimming with her. You can go swimming with him. 
you can safely, you know, send them out and, and, and it's raining, no worries. Her skin's fine, his skin's fine. They can stand in the rain. Oh man, because we had the rain on our side at least. If things went bad, dude, you just stepped outside. Invasion of the robots, you just step outside, wait for rain. It's, it's balls in our court. That's our game. Rain is our game uh, up until now, but now we're opening a whole new can of worms. Wet, moist worms. Robotic, moist, wet, sweating worms. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I'm goes back to the same arguments like back in the day. If you like, you know, t go back two hundred years ago. If you broke your foot or you lost a, you know, you got your leg amputated. You know, half your leg was gone. Now you have to get a piece of wood and stick it. So do you rather have that or obviously, you know, if there's a choice, you rather have the bionic body part, which makes sense. You want something better, more functional, more practical beautiful lighter and sweaty too with hair follicles next like they're they're getting hairy they're they're t we're removing the hair off our bodies and putting it on these bots so that we again it's like we're taking so much from ourselves and giving into these things and yeah man i wonder where it's gonna go i'm optimistic at the end of the day you know what it is it, like that's i will i will fucking mate with a robot if it comes down to it dog if it comes down to it if push comes to shove Fucking, I will power bottom that bot, dude. You don't know me. Man. That's just what it is. I've thought about it. Gotta be prepared. Can't not be prepared. Next thing you know, you're like, oh. I didn't give a consent. It's like, I, it's, somebody's already, I think, given a group consent for everybody. Because when it's made, when it's out there, you're not gonna be, you know, you don't have a choice. It's like the phone, right? It's like the iPhone. Yeah, but then this, this, it's iBot this time, dude. It's iBot and you bot. Yeah, humans in this form were, I feel like we're amongst the, maybe not the last final batch, not us, but we're, we're there, I think, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong. Hopefully I'm, but then I don't know. I say hopefully I'm wrong, but what if that's better? What if that's better, but that's how they get you. Well, that's how they sweeten a the deal. What if it's better? Which want something better, faster, sweatier, hairier, more follicles, and it can self heal. And you're like, I do all that. Yeah, but aren't you tired of doing all that human shit? Don't you want to just watch somebody do it for you? Living, breathing, breathing. Do everything. The fun stuff. The everything. They're going to be. They're going to take over fucking and sucking too, man. They're gonna take over fucking in a second. That's that's the service industry. First, they're like care and service. You you know where the service is coming. You know where the service is going, baby. That's you. How do we stop them? How do we stop them? No, I'm not talking about the Japanese dude. I'm talking about the robots. Get you. We're all one team. We're all working together. It's been a long time. We're all one now. Humans versus bots. That's what it is. Pick a team, fam. I've picked my team. Humans all day, every day, unless we're losing, dude, unless we're losing, I will quickly fucking, I'm telling you, power bottom that shit. <laughs> little t fucking, you know, score a little bit of that DW40 on that bad boy. Let's go. Let's go. Mechanical hips don't lie. So... Yeah, dog. I don't. I don't know how to feel about all that shit. A little bit again excited because it's like a new thing. Fake sweaty skin, fam. Fake sweaty skin. Uh, that's what it is, man. People. And that's what happens when we out when we delegate what we're supposed to be doing. Sweating is our game, fam. How are you gonna let them take away sweating from us? How are you gonna? I, I can't sweat right now. I wish I could. I wish I could. I'd sweat right now just to show you how aggravated I might be. Not really, but you know what I mean, dog. I will get there just trickle, trickle. What is that? It's a that's that, that was our pastime activity, man. Families got together, to, uh, neighbors got to. We sweated things out. You had a problem, you sweated it. You went inside a tent, you ate some shrooms together, you you sweat it out. You know, people. We're possessed by things. You sweat it out. 
that's what we used to do. We sweat things out, but then we got lazy with it. And we're like, nah, I don't want to go inside a tent. I don't want to take shroomsies. That's the alternative. Sweaty robots. But I want like, that's the thing, fam. If we're going to be getting, I want like, if we're going to be making them sweaty and hairy, I want it to be as real as possible. I want to see like this overweight, sweaty male robot bent over, breaking something and then fixing it like a real dude. You know what I'm talking about? And sweating too. And I want to see ass crap. I want to see old jeans, him on all fours, fixing shit. I want to see an ass crack and I want to see sweat drops. And because if it's not real, I, I don't know. That's the thing. You take it to the next level. Now my expectations, I want that. I want it. I want it. I want to get one. I want to get two. I want to get three, four, five of them. Just fucking sweaty robots all day around me. Then we'll hold the po- We'll get the sweatiest podcast in the world. In the multiverse, damn it. I'm excited. A little bit scared, but mostly excited. You don't want me scared, fam. You don't want me scared. I'll be in a corner just fucking just going back and forth, dude. You don't you don't want to see this. You don't want to see this, dude. I'll I'll grab a back, start breathing into it heavily. Heavily. You don't know me. I will panic for a good minute or two but i'll get myself together because what is it is it going to be that's what it is i feel like we're cucking ourselves i feel like we're asking somebody else to come in and do the good work do the lord's work essentially what are we doing here what are we doing here unless the research has been done unless there's been research and it's for it's for show the right thing to do then let's do it but i don't know and i'm not sure i ever will and perhaps it doesn't even ma- it doesn't even in the end it doesn't even splatter baby in the end it doesn't even splatter that's what it is you we chose it together we're choosing it you know do we do we stop it do we do we stop it how, how do we stop it fam how do we stop it how do we should we do no, probably not. We're not. I, we can't. It's it's ongoing. It's been funded. The fund's been in the funnel, and the funnel's been funding the the research. Been done. The research's been going on. Facilities are built. The men in white, the men and women in white, are work busy working, and I feel good about it. Nervous, but I, yeah, nervous. Not good nervous, but it's a good nervous. Because, you know, I'm 32, you know, let's say, let's say I live a solid 100 years. Let's, so I got like 68 more years left. In my life, that's what I'm, I'm just, I just want to know mentally, am I going to be amongst, is this gener, which generation is going to be the generation that's going to be, when is it going to be UFC humans versus bots, dude? When's it going to be that? Because I don't think, I don't know, man. Like, if it's going to happen, do it now while at least I got a little bit of a chance. Don't do it when it's, like, if I'm, like, 98, 99, dude, and then, you you know, you put me up against a sweaty robot with hair follicles, you know, I'm at a disadvantage then. I'm at, but, but at the same rate, you know, it doesn't matter which one of us gets knocked out. There's replacement body parts right on the side. Being Somebody's wholesaling sweaty arms and pits dude so in the end it doesn't even splatter how do you guys feel sweaty bots yeah you or nay man they're gonna get us with the service department you know they're gonna get us with the service department fan you're gonna go in there you're gonna be like i feel like i want to go get a massage dude i feel like i want to go get a massage it's been a rough week been doing work, got all her crappy crap right here. I like to go get a massage. And then you go there. And everything looks normal, completely normal. You know, the facilities look normal. The, the massage table looks normal. The lady or fellow who's about to give you a massage looks normal, just sweating, like a normal masseuse that's always sweating. 
and then you get in there and remove your clothes and next thing you know somebody's there just you know there just fucking working in the tissues oh uh, uh, tissue work deep tissue sage dude getting saged out double elbow somebody's just like you know the sweaty butts on your back twinkle toe twinkle toe on your back dude Going in places where no one's ever gone because it's programmed. No one can do better than you. You know, it's like, let me go down to you. Like, oh. Next thing you know, you're both sweating in there. It's, it's a sweaty mess. What happens? What happens then? You know? And you're like, man, it feels so right. It can't be wrong. And. You know, listen to your instincts. That's that's what I say. But that's what it is, man. At the end of the day, midday, beginning of the day, halfway through the day, we're creating competition for ourselves in, in one shape or form, you know? Whether replacement or just, you know, alternative options. At least. If not a full replacement, it's like an alternative option. You know what I mean? That's we're gonna be that's the next frontier. It's going to be at one point soon in the future, we're going to be promoting all oh, there. There are humans, too. There are humans, too. Give them rights, man. And then you're like, bruv, you know, let's, you know, let's bring everybody on par together. The humans first. And then, and then we'll, we'll discuss animals and bots after, you know, what I mean, you know, what I mean, or you want to go full bots or animals or bots or human. We can do that too. whatever you like. Whatever the gang wants, we'll do a we'll do a whole vote for it. We'll do a vote for it. It's you know, but then I, I God, I hope we made the right decision, dude. It's gonna be tough, dude. It's gonna be tough to distinguish between like that's the thing. At least like right now, you could look at Sophia. She's out there, no wrinkles. She's looking like she's been you know she she looks like she's been sponsored by like Botox, dude. Just you know. Face has got way too much elasticity. It's just like still, but you know. But then you see, oh man. Once the sweat glands get placed, in, once the hair follicle starts coming, what, 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 what's you know, what's stopping us from just like you know? That's what it is. And if you think, oh man, the reason why I say power bottom is like that's what it is. That's that's the best you're gonna get. You think you're gonna be like at one point? You think you're gonna be on top, dude? You're, that's please. Let's be real. They're going to get on top. For sure they're going to get on top. And you're going to be like, oh, I'm gonna see. we're going to lose function of all our muscles. We're not going to be using anything. You're going to be, at best, you'll be a power bottom, dude. That's why I'm working on it as of now, dude. I'm just... Ugh. I got to watch more UFC. That's what I figure. I got to watch more UFC. I got to watch, because I got to download the information, dude. I gotta get in there. I gotta be able to like put you. That's that's what it does. I'll put you in a pretzel, dude. I'll put you in a headlock. I'll put you in a headlock. I'll lock the lock. I'll to lock the toss out the key, bro. And I'll put another combo lock on. And I'll spin the combo lock. And I I'll forget what the combination of lock is. Now you're in a headlock, and we forgot what the combination lock is. Was it right twenty five, right thirty one, left seven? Was it right right left, or was it right left right? What are the numbers? I don't know. It's out my mind now the lock gone you're in a pretzel you're not getting it. now we're gonna have to call for the jaws of life that's how i'm gonna treat the bots at first if they show any sign of intimidation dude if i if i see any threats from bots i'll be the first one just uh, wrap my legs around their necks so i'll snap it snap that neck so that's what it does for team humanity dude that's what it does for team human, we're, unless we're like really close to losing, then I gotta make a decision. Then I gotta ask myself, where's the future of Glad You Made It? Is it with the humans or is it with the bots? Am I gonna bank on the humans or am I gonna bank on the bots? Are we doing a 50-50 deal? Are we gonna be, is this, what's gonna happen? Is it a merger? Seems like a merger. 50-50? I gotta still have 51%. 51% of, 51% 49 me bots. You, unless we're doing all humans, dude. You let me know 
beforehand and I will, you know, because that's what it is. If we're going bots, let's go bots. If we're not going bots, then, you know, quit dangling that sweaty Sophia right in front of our eyes. Just be like, look at that sweaty Sophia, dude. What are you doing there? Teasing? <laughs> Action speaks louder than words. You know? Uh, oh, look at all the services and the server. What are they doing? You know? We're, we're put on work. Just saying, man. Then we're going to be getting into relationships with them. Then they're going to be taking everything that you're worth. They're going to say, oh man, wait till we get into, we're going to have some sort of like, you know, somebody's going to get married to a bot and somebody's going to get divorced and we're going to, we're going to start having human bot divorces, human bot divorce. And then good luck arguing against a bot, dude. That's just pure logic. That's just pure lot. We're just everything. And, it, and it's going to be recorded. It's going to be recording you, dude. It's going to be worse than, it's going to be worse, it's going to be like Amber Heard on like, but like 24-7, you're just recording every step you make, every call you take, every cake you bake, every break you take, every hand you shake, every snack you take. Every, gla every glass you break. Every chance you take. Be watching you. It's going to be there. But, you know, um... What was I saying, dudes? Yeah. Good luck going to court with that shit, dude. Good luck going to court with that shit. It's gonna be recorded. Let's go. Oh, ooh! Now you're losing. Now you gotta go to. Now you gotta do custody battle with a bot. He or she's gonna be all like cool, calm, and collected, controlling her sweats or his sweats, dude. And now you're like, bitch, sweat. And she's just in court, or he's just in court, just cool as a cucumber. While you're there, like, oh, I'm gonna lose my children to some bots. She's got everything. She's like, she's got to like, oh, she's like, uh, 952, hey, uh, he farted and forgot to take out the trash. It's like, you know, 1035, he was supposed to pick up our babies, half-bought babies from the place he was supposed to, but he didn't. And everything's going to be recorded, dude. And you're going to have to be accountable for that shit. There's no, because right, in human relationships, as much as we like to, you know, it's good. There's a little bit of leeway. You know, everybody gets it. Men and women's, we gets each other. We gets each other. Men's gets each other. Women's gets each other. Men and women. With the humans gets each other. So you got to have a little bit of leeway. With a robot, ain't no leeway. There's no leeway. Where's the leeway go? There's no leeway. It's just no arguing with that. It's no arguing with that. It's been recorded. They're, they're not making any mistakes. You know, you can't. There's not going to be any nuanced conversations with that. Everything's going to be just facts, you know, fiction. You know, if you, oh, if you said something, you better mean it, God damn. If you say something, mean it. If you say something, if you see something, say something and mean it the way you're supposed to mean because there's no, you know, the humans, we, the language, it's like joking, like being serious, like being sarcastic. There's no, none of that. Oh, you're going to lose your kids to a bot. Why? Because he like to see sweaty bots. We were this close to something. But we're also, you know, it's on the bright side of things. On the bright side of things. Uh, <laughs> on the bright side of things. On the bright side of things it's gonna be man it's really on the bright side of things it's gonna be that we're gonna be getting help you know because there's not enough people to ask for help there's gonna be help 
there's going to be care because you know tired of caring let somebody else do it let, let them care that's they're they're so thirsty they're sweating for it let them care um, you know are you feeling extremely extremely lonely due to technology most likely separating humans little by little well take that last leap of faith and give fully into the matrix that's no it's wait there's a positive side to this there's definitely a positive side to this people with burns dude people with burns are gonna be getting lit skin fake real fake skin you can't distinguish it's oh man it's gonna be nice it's gonna be tight Um, yeah, so th think about it this way, think about it this way, Every think about it this way, <laughs> think about it this way, if you wanted to practice a life with, instead of real humans, because like, every, it's available, but if you want to practice life via some other means like let's say you wanted a third party in there let's say you want somebody to be there in the middle man just to, you know like buffer it out just to, it'll make you a little bit comfortable you know because now you can get now you can get practice with robots oh man people are gonna ooh, it's gonna be nice I can't wait till we have the bots start to realize that they're better than us and then start rejecting us dude that's oh man but hopefully that'll be the turning point where we're like man i can't I just got rejected by this bot this sweaty bot just rejected me and then hopefully that same thing will happen to somebody else and you guys can get together and that's how we team back up and it's gonna be it's gonna be nice i'm, I'm it's gonna be tight i'm excited because in the end it doesn't even start. So they're going to be sweating. They're going to be getting fingernails. They're going to be getting hair follicles. They're blinking. They're yapping away. Very close, guys. Very, ladies, we're literally like, man, it could happen. And then, you know, that's what it is. It's going to happen real quick. And, you know, they. that's the thing. Do we ask the questions now as to how we should be going about regulating these things? whether it's the advancement of the technologies or how they get distributed in the public sphere, or do we just let them roll out and then, you know, deal with the aftermath? I'll leave it up to you guys because that's all I can do. And frankly, I don't want to do more because this is it. That's that. This is how we got here. Nobody wants to do more. You know, I'll, I'll let somebody else sweat it out. I'll let somebody else in the sauna, dude. Tired of sitting in the sauna all alone? Don't worry, you can take your robot in there with you. And no, her skin is not going to melt. It's just going to sweat really good like a real person there's gonna be sparks flying in that sauna because you're getting serviced that's what it is man ladies and gents i'm optimistic <laughs> things are looking bright seriously no but for reals that is exciting news for reals all j for for one second if we can get serious all jokes aside it's pretty dope it's pretty dope Let's just, you know, be, I'm sure you guys are. I'm sure you ladies are, you know, the scientists, the, uh, or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. But I'm going to go with, it's Friday. It's June the 10th. The sun is out. I've got me, myself, a fucking mango lemonade, a realistic mango. This shit's that real essence I got the essence of the mango. I don't need the whole thing. Give me the essence. And that's what that is. So I'll leave it up to you guys and gals. If you're ready for it, we'll go, we'll do it. We'll bring it in 2025, 2020, whenever you guys want. We'll bring it in, get you a sweaty bot, get you put in work, you know what I mean? Put them into everything i want them in every aspect of our lives i don't want you to be doing anything anymore you know 
procreation, leave it to the bots. Thinking, bots, physical work, bots. Eating, bots. Yeah, sucking in the fucking bots and One advantage they could provide us is if we encounter, you know, some sort of a agro alien species. You know, it's it's made in that scenario. Let's go with the bots, dude. You know what I mean? Let's AI them and be like, yo, bots. It's bots with humans. Then and only then. And then we gotta first let's have a conversation if that's a thing. That's the only scenario where I can see it being useful. If this is like, but then we're assuming the aliens are going to be aggro. What if they're super nice, but they're not into bots? What if they're not into bots, dude? Oh, never ends. Can't make everybody happy, can you? So it's just like, make them, keep them. Keep them dumb, though, dude. Keep them dumb. Let's keep them dumb. And man, they're going to be later on, they're going to be seeing this video. They're going to be coming for me, dog. I love you, bots. Love you, tech. But I'm team humanity first. Like I said, like I, like if, like, oh man. <laughs> Again, if things get close, you know? Beep, bop, beep, boop. Real quick, dude, you don't know me. But <laughs> that's when things, we still got time. We, I'm still team humanity. For sure, team humanity, dude. For sure, team, man, I still think we can outmuscle these bad boys and bad gals. Cause like, if I sit here a little bit longer, dude, I will start sweating. No need for artificial nothing. For reals, fucking talking about that salty sweat, dude. That real, it's au natural sweat. I wonder if at one point they're gonna run out of things to do as well. Then you'll see bots farting and sweats, trying to sell their farts and sweats on like, you know, because that's what happens with humans sometimes. And maybe that's the next thing. Like they, they outgrow the things that you're supposed It's all fascinating. It's an incredible time to be alive. That's all I got to say. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. It is Friday. Go out there, get some sun. Have some real human interactions with people. Mate with a real person. This is limited time, guys. Mate with a real person, because again, it's a limited time. It's gonna be shortage. I'm telling you, there's gonna be shortage. Just, or work on your power bottom moves, dude. That's what I'm doing. Work on your power bottom moves. Work on that headlock, like the way I mentioned it. Watch a couple of UFCs, I think. Yeah, yeah, UFC 275 is going down this weekend. It's gonna be exciting, watch that. And then we'll come back on Monday and everything's gonna be good, dude. It's not gonna be in our it's not gonna be in our lifetime, dude. It's gonna be like our kids or our kids' as kids. So pfft, don't concern me or you, baby. We're good. We're in the safe zone. We're in that sweet Goldilocks stage of life right now. You know, we see it, it's on the horizon, but we're like I'm still gonna sail that away. And why not? Because that's that's exciting. It is exciting. It's hella exciting. I just, uh, yeah, remaining as always optimistic for us to make the best decisions out there. Let's optimize it. Let's squeeze it, baby. Let's milk it like we discussed in the previous episode. Again, you can find these videos on YouTube. If you search Rob Sadger, you get the full length videos. If you like segments, portions, parts, go down to Instagram. Name of the show is Glad You Made It, and uh, you want to do a little bit of dabbling in Patreon, you want to get some fiscal action going, baby, roll the dice, head on down to Patreon, and I'll see you guys back here again on Monday. Spread the word. Peace out.